My name is Antonis Kotsonas. I'm the pottery expert of the excavation team. I've actually written my thesis on the pottery from the necropolis and uh, also I've worked on the material from this chamber tomb, Roca chamber tomb, conventionally named A1, K1. Roca chamber tombs used for multiple cremations were common in uh, early Iron Age Crete. But this, this find, which dates from the 9th to the 7th, 7th century BC, is special in several respects. First of all, the state of preservation. Everything was very well preserved, although the roof of the tomb had partly collapsed. The material, uh, can, the actual finds, are local but also imported from several sites in the southern Aegean and the eastern Mediterranean. And uh, also, uh, the physical, anthropological and environmental data have been collected and uh, a multi-volume publication is on the way. Uh, four volumes have been planned by the editor, Professor Sabolidis, and two have already appeared. The first that came out was by Professor Anagnostis Angelarakis on the uh, osteological material of the human bones, which mostly belonged to adult males. The second volume that came out was my personal work on the nearly 400 clay vases from the tomb. And there are two more volumes to come. So it's a team effort and an interdisciplinary effort and also a very demanding task. There are finds from various materials, precious, semi-precious or common finds made of iron, bronze, clay and various exotic and or rare materials. A, a team of experts is working on the remaining two volumes and the, uh, the publication, when, it, when every volume is out, will be a standard reference for the archaeology of Crete of the period in question and the Aegean uh, in general. And also a reference point for, uh, uh, on how to excavate and publish a collective tomb. Now, the tomb was used from the 9th to the mid 7th century. By that time, the, the chamber was full of urns. There, there were more than 100 urns, mostly clay, but also bronze urns with their lids and associated uh, finds. The, after that point, the, the people that used the tomb persisted uh, depositing uh, urns in the drums of the tomb or just about by the iron beam that you see. The iron beam is there to support an overlying monument that caused the roof to collapse at some point. The, the monument was built on the beginning of the 7th century to hold a special burial kept in an amphora. The whole complex, however, shows that the memory and the interest in the site uh, outlasted the use of the chamber of the tomb by at least half a century. Apparently, the majority of the people buried was adult males. Other, uh, sub, other social sub, uh, subgroups were underrepresented. So gender and age were important uh, uh, cr criteria on the selection of the persons to be buried in the tomb. The study of the finds has shown that uh, uh, the, the context was undisturbed and can help build a chronological uh, and typological uh, sequence. This sequence will be a reference point for the archaeology of Crete and the find with its uh, archaeological, uh, typological and sociological implication will be of tremendous importance for the archaeology of the Aegean.